Hey everyone, it's Cubastic, your favorite speedcuber on YouTube, and I bought the most modern Rubik's Cubes now existing. The package cost me $200, yesterday it came to me and guys... I really want to unpack it, because for a long time this type of videos were missing in my channel, well, and the content of this package attracts me more and more with every second. Let's unpack it, here we go. I love unboxing. This box contains uh, several Rubik's Cubes, now I will show you which ones. And each of them, believe me, each of them will surprise you. You can call this package uh, directly from the future, because uh, such technologies are on my table for the first time. Just look at this beauty! By the way, you can tell where it came from by checking the box. It came to me from the cubicle store. I told you that uh, this is my favorite online puzzle store, and I also have uh, a few speedcubing mats here, they are used to have a soft surface during your trainings and solvents. We also use them today, but the most interesting part is still inside. Here we also have a lubricant for the cube, we will definitely test it, uh, let's see how it affects uh, the rotation of the cubes, but the most important thing is go cube. See, it's GoCube 2x2. Two two. You remember that I already met GoCube 3x3 three three on my channel. This is uh, the younger brother and today we'll see what it looks like. So interesting, but not as interesting as the content of those two boxes. By the way, this is all that we have for now. This is our GAN 12 Maglev Cube. I will tell you a little later why it has such a name, but believe me, this is the most modern and most expensive Rubik's Cube at the moment. Today we will unpack it. And this is a rather serious competitor to GAN, a completely new big cube, which I have never seen and never held in my hands. You just look at the size of this box. It is incredibly huge and I'm afraid to imagine what we will find inside. And we will start perhaps uh, with uh, the GoCube 2x2. Today I have a separate mat for each cube. Oh, it is so stylish! I really like it! And small, it's nice! So, GoCube 2x2. Its box is not much different from 3x3, except that uh, the image here is a 2x2 cube and here is 3x3 one. Well, and the size, of course. Now let's see what's inside. I love these unboxing moments, I really love new puzzles and uh, you know how much I love adding things to my collection. And here something interesting is waiting for me. Well, in general uh, the box is exactly the same as uh, the GoCube 3x3. The cube has uh, such a package and I already see Type-C connector in the corner of the cube. I have never seen anything like this before. Usually the cubes are charged using some kind of docking station, but sticking a wire directly into is something new, it's really interesting. By the way, there's another second compartment here. This is an unpacker's paradise, because there are so much compartments in this box. This is a cover for the cube, in which we will put uh, the cube with the greatest pleasure and hide it uh, from the eyes of jealous people. And this is the cable, and this is how charging should happen. <laughs> no, I've never seen anything like this before. Just the wire that is inserted into the cube. This is the cube of the future world. And here is some other documentation, papers. We will definitely talk about all the functions uh, that are listed here in the review of this Rubik's Cube. We will connect it to the phone, put it on charge. Just imagine a cube on charge. A few years ago it would sound crazy, but today in the modern world Rubik's Cubes can be charged, connected to the phone and they are smarter than a robot vacuum cleaner. So far this Rubik's Cube and all other products that are in this package are considered unique, because they have just appeared on the market, but you can already order them at the cubicle store. Talking about modern Rubik's Cubes, I will say that the Cubicle is one of those stores that provides the newest technologies in creating speed cubes and other puzzles. No wonder I bought today's puzzles in this store. 
There you can find accessories for speedcubers and puzzles for every taste and budget. High quality, fast delivery and best service is guaranteed. Check the link in the description and don't miss your modern Rubik's Cube and don't forget about my promo code. Here I have this tube of lubricant called Ice Blue. I ordered it specifically in order to experiment how it will affect the rotation of the cube. For that I'll take a 4x4 cube, solve it, then lubricate it, solve it again and see the difference. In the meantime you can subscribe to the channel. 3, 2, start. Forty-six seconds. It seems to me that I'm unlikely to solve it better, but you saw that the cube stuck at some points and uh, the edges didn't turn really well. And now it's time for Ice Blue, DNM 37. Whatever that means, let's try. How will it affect the cube? It's really liquid, so uh, I think it will speed up the cube and not vice versa add control to it, but now let's try. The main idea is to get rid of making these small stops while solving. I think that's enough. Let's scramble the cube, put in the lubricant over all the elements. And the cube has to become a little faster. But we can only find out during the solving. 3, 2, start! Listen, it's good! Of course, it didn't work out faster to solve it, but I can say for sure that during the solving it was much more pleasant to turn it and more controlled and faster movements were obtained. This is unlikely to affect the time in any way, but it certainly affects the comfort during the rotation, therefore the lubricant in the Speedcuber suitcase is a must-have. And especially when the cube is completely dry, it is impossible to turn it at all, therefore a really important accessory. I'll change the carpet, because today we have a new background for each cube. Nice! Bam! Wow, super bright! In the blue corner, GAN 12 Maglev. This is the best, not only the best, not only modern, but also the most expensive Rubik's Cube 3x3 out of all simple puzzles. Once upon a time, uh, the cubes were just a piece of plastic, and today they are stuffed with uh, various technologies, they are stuffed with uh, various ways uh, that allow you to speed up the solving of this Rubik's Cube in just a split second. I'm delighted! Are you excited? If you like it, please give this video a like. I will be so pleased to see that you rate these videos. There's no need to put a dislike, uh, they are still not visible at the moment, but you can write a comment and subscribe to the channel, there are a lot more videos about puzzles. This is probably the most desired moment for every speedcuber to unpack such a box. Alright, here it is, as it should be, the card. And this card confirms that your Rubik's Cube is official and there is a serial number of the cube. Roughly speaking, this is your puzzle ID. Next, uh, there is a serial number and a pin code? What? What for? For the Cube Station app. That is, perhaps uh, this cube can also be somehow used in conjunction with the application on the phone, but we will find out about this already in the review of this cube. It will definitely come to that point. You need to be subscribed not to miss it. Do you know why I love Gen? That's why. Huh, funny. Well, and because of that too. It looks amazing. I really like the colors, the cool sides, and even this case itself, as usual, looks quite high-tech. If we remember the last one, Gen 11M Pro, here we have the same thing, and uh, this was the box. So we press and two such mechanisms uh, start working. And uh, here the mechanism is one and it looks like this. Also impressive and cool. Okay, but the main thing is the content. Oh, it looks like it's been oiled. Just look how it shines. It's glossing. Amazing. I have never seen such a covering on the cubes. Well, there are also negative aspects. Fingerprints, scratches and dust will be visible here in just a couple of seconds. But just look what a wow effect we have during the unpacking. 
you immediately feel that the thing is really expensive. I would also like to pay attention to the box, because its design has also undergone some changes, and now it's like this, in cosmic color, with a gradient from yellow to blue. There's also a little white box inside the package, and inside we have a cover for this cube, also a really cool one. By the way, uh, this time it has a different color, a more restrained beautiful logo and, in my opinion, the material has even changed a little. Yep, in such a bag the chance of getting a scratch on your cube is reduced. So we got a plastic box and also a bag. Also, inside we have such a small case that is absolutely small, it looks like AirPods, only smaller and just as stylish. Well, inside of course uh, there are some gadgets for tuning and they also look good, modern and fascinating. What is it? For now I can only guess, and we will study the properties of this cube in the review, which will definitely come out. Now I can only enjoy its appearance, but still I want to make one solving, I really want to. Wow. Oh my god. My god, I held hundreds of different cubes in my hands. But I have never had such a feeling just from turning the cube. Oh, I don't even want to solve it straight away. I want to have fun just turning it, because it is... It is so unusual. I'm even afraid to imagine what technology they have achieved. I will definitely look into this technology. The only thing I know, at least because of the name of this cube and from the configuration, is uh, that you won't believe it, levitation technology is used here. A Rubik's cube with magnetic levitation technology. <laughs> I'm delighted how it all works, all its functions and in fact why this Rubik's Cube can be considered the most modern, we'll find out in the review. Well, for now I need to check it and turn it. Folks, subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications, because in one of the following videos I will try to solve three incredible simple puzzles that I don't know how to solve. So don't miss out. Now we're moving on to the most interesting part. If you are ready, let's go! Wow, this color is so cool! And just for it, I prepared the biggest box. This cube is called Pig S3R and I have no idea what it looks like. But I know for sure that it is 100%, even 120, stuffed with completely new technologies. Yes, there may not be magnetic levitation here as in Gen, but believe me, there's uh, something to surprise here, and at least of this content. Just look at how well I matched uh, the colors of the rugs, because here is orange on orange and this one was blue on blue. This is the purest coincidence, but it looks bright not only because the color here is awesome, but also because it is amazingly packed. Here is an embossing S3R, and inside there's a cube, again in a protective box, let's get back to it a little later. In the meantime, content and equipment, an additional box like this, we listed. So this is a bag, also quite cool, as cool as Gen. Let's see what else. Uh, there's also, this is my favorite, uh, there is a rack for wiping the dust from your cube. I love these details, they are pretty funny and sometimes really useful. Instructions and what? Again, this is Cube's ID card. Well, here, by the way, you can already see some kind of structure, and something tells me that inside there are far from simple central elements, and there is something unique in the edges. Let's see, here we have a brief description of all the characteristics, and yes, yes, I was right, here in each center, firstly, there are four springs, and secondly, are there interchangeable panels on the elements? Most likely, they are. It is still unclear how it will work, springs, there are double ones. Let's see a little later, while I'm wondering where to put them, to do this you need to unpack the cube. Oh, it was nice. The first step is uh, to figure out how to open it. There's an arrow here, 
but what to pull and where? <gasps> oh, it works like this! <laughs> Good! Here is a cube and it has a very similar design, right? It looks like a GAN because there are the same kind of external elements and the center is similar but uh, the internal structure is done in black so the contrast is good on the details it looks like a super modern cool cube it also turns quite well listen i'm even wondering which cube will be my main now well the most interesting as you understand is also inside this cube and now we will look at the brochure what interesting things await us there? As I said, a really interesting system of settings in the centers. We have uh, different nuts here. We have them here in the back. Uh, there are different springs in gold and silver. Uh, here we have uh, gold in addition. But that's not the most interesting part, I guess. Interesting, uh, these are the interchangeable panels that we will replace. Here on the corner element uh, there's a panel, which is replaced by this one. What is the uniqueness of each of them? We will probably find out again in a separate review of this Rubik's Cube. And it seems to me that each of today's cubes that were on the table, they deserve a separate video, because uh, there were no such technologies in cube construction yet. As a speedcuber and puzzle lover, I can definitely tell you that I have never seen anything like it in Rubik's Cubes and I'm extremely interested to know how it works. Therefore, subscribe to the channel and wait for the review of each of these puzzles. We will look at all technologies, put the cube on charge, deal with magnetic levitation and with hyper-flexible settings and interchangeable panels in a new generation of cubes. See you on the channel. Bye everyone and have a good time.